to enter this month's giveaway of the Windows $10 gift card, all you have to do is stay subscribed to the channel. That is all. Good luck guys and enjoy the video. What's up guys, Shawnee Dogs here and if you are brand new to my best class setup series, how it works is I take each and every gun in the game and for the most part I will give you two different setups for the gun, an unsilenced and a silenced version because I know people have different playstyles and some people like to go for nukes and different things like that. So let's get straight into it. The M1 is a classic straight from COD World at War. The good old days, they brought this weapon back from the dead and it is amazing. It was so good in fact that it was banned in competitive play just a few short weeks after the game's launch. The reason is, although for multi-kills it is absolute garbage because it only carries 8 bullets without extended mags, on straight up 1v1s it is just so, so good. You kill in two bullets and it still does fire pretty fast, so you can kill in those two shots before people are able to hit four shots of a normal gun. What's even better is that its two shot kill range is actually really, really good, so I don't even have to put long barrel on this class. This gun that you're seeing right now on my as my attachments, I'm just using the ELO sight, quick draw, and extended max. Quick draw, you're going to see that on all my class setups. I use that because you want to outdraw your enemy. If you can aim in faster than them, chances are you're going to win the gunfight. The ELO, I use that because that's the most precise sight in the game. You'll also see all the pros using that. And lastly, you really, really need extended mags. It's crucial for this weapon because it normally carries 8 shots. And with extended mags, it carries 12. This weapon's very, very strange because you cannot reload it. You have to empty all the bullets in your magazine and then the gun will auto reload, but it only reloads when you're completely empty. So if you see me with like two or three bullets left in the gun and I'm just shooting off, that's the reason. Now for my perks, it is my usual perk setup. I double up on perk one with ghost and overclock. Ghost because I've said it a million times, it's the second best perk in the game. Keeps you off radar, UAVs cannot detect you. You always wanna have that on. And overclock, I mean, that's just a bonus perk. You could really trade that out for something else. I just use that because I like to have my rewind and I like to get it very often to save my life. Now for perk two, this is another non-essential one as well as my bubble shield. That These two are very interchangeable. You could put on another attachment, maybe stock if you like, because this is a pretty campy gun. It does kill in two shots. So you maybe want to pre-aim corners, but I do use hard lines so I could get my streaks faster. And lastly for perk three, I use Dead Silence, and I consider that to be the best perk in the entire game because it keeps you from stomping around the map like an elephant. No one can hear you, you're not gonna get pre-aimed around corners, you could take flank lanes very well, and the main purpose is to allow you to remain undetected unless you are engaging in a gunfight, and it does the job very well. The gun is an absolute beast. In the few games that I was using it, I dropped over 70 plus kills in each one. It is just so, so good at those 1v1s, but multi-kills not so much. Let's not talk about those. Just focus on winning your 1v1 gunfights fairly quickly. You won't have to worry about too many multi-kills. Now for the silence class setup for this weapon, I did exactly what I said, and I changed out the perks as well as my bubble shield. I took out my bubble shield, I took out hardline, and I also took out overclock. What I did with those four extra points is I put on the silencer and I also put on long barrel to counteract the silencer. Everything else is exactly the same. The main reason I added that long barrel is because you want to keep this gun at a two shot kill at a fairly good range. Even with the long barrel, the silencer still does cause a little bit of a drop off from your two shot kill range. So I would think maybe it's best to use this gun unsilenced, but if you plan on using it silenced, you definitely do want to use that long barrel so you can maintain your two shot kills. Right here, this is where I would talk about which is the best variant for this weapon, but it doesn't have any. I don't know why there aren't variants for the classic weapons, but there aren't. And if you notice all of my class setups, I started with the assault rifles first. I included classic weapons. I threw the OSA in there. And I'm also going to include the M1. I know when you play zombies, 
There's something called scoped dollars that when you get kills with a sniper rifle, you get extra money. And when you're using the M1, it does give you that. So I guess it does count as a sniper rifle. But let's be honest, in multiplayer, you don't really use this as a sniper rifle. It's more of like an FAL or a Shiva from Black Ops 3. But I would definitely consider this an assault rifle more than I would a sniper. But this video is going to be a little shorter because I didn't have any variants to talk about. So that is going to be it. For this one. If you did enjoy the video and found it helpful, be sure to drop a like, comment down below with any thoughts or questions you may have, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you are new for some more great videos, and we'll see you in the next one.